Good evening and welcome to the Fairfield City School District Board of Education meeting for April 21st, 2022. Mrs. Lane, please call the roll. Mr. Begley. Here. Ms. Birding. Mr. Clark. Present. Ms. Gundrum. Here. Mrs. Shorter. Here. Thank you. I would now uh, ask up the ASL students who are going to sign the pledge to come forward. Come forward. Stand right here in front of us, please. That's great. Everyone else, please rise for the pledge. Mrs. Gundrum, please lead us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Great. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, Mr. Smith, presentations, resolutions? Yes, Mr. Beglin, members of the board, we do have two presentations scheduled this evening. Uh, our first is the recognition of our retirees, and we're always very excited to recognize our retirees. Uh, we do this every year at our April board meeting, uh, and every year we do have some folks that announce their retirement after that meeting. So as a result, in addition to recognizing uh, retirees for the 21-22 school year, we will also be honoring retirees from the 2021 school year as well. Prior to reading the names, I would just like to say thank you to all of our retirees for their years of service. Uh, at some point, you made the decision to serve our students, our schools, and our community, and we are stronger as a result of your service. So thank you so much for your service. We will begin by recognizing the 2020-2021 retirees. Once your name is called, please come forward so that Angie Neal, our coordinator of district information, and Brian Begley, our board of education president, can present you with a certificate and a gift. Also, for those that are in, in attendance, please remain standing in the front of the room so that we can get your picture with our board of education members once all of the retirees have been recognized. All right, so 2020, 2021 retirees, and please know that, um, you know, it's April, it's, there's a lot going on, so uh, it's tough for everyone to get here, so we do have quite a few people that were unable to make it this evening. But 2020, 2021, Susan Lindberg, Senior High Intervention Specialist, Stephen Smith, Freshman School Intervention Specialist, Deborah Benson, South Elementary, Educational Assistant, Lori McCoy, Senior High School, Secretary 3, Georgia Smagic, West Elementary, Food Service Assistant, Donna Kimmel, West Elementary, EL, Marsha Dennett, Freshman School, Educational <coughs> Assistant, Sue Shepard, West Elementary, RN, James Myers, Freshman School, Custodian, Brenda Scheidt, West Elementary, Secretary 3. <laughs> and now for our 2021-2022 recruit retirees Nancy Fenn North Elementary second grade Karen Bauman senior high school educational assistant Rosemary Sherlock, Central Elementary, Educational Assistant. Michael Browning, Senior High School, English. Alan Blevins, Maintenance, Custodian. A special note for those of you that know Alan, Alan uh, retired and then passed away shortly thereafter. However, we did want to read his name and honor him this evening. 
Ryan Jones, Crossroads Middle School, custodian. Valerie Isaac, Crossroads Middle School, sixth grade ELA. Sheila Clements, Senior High School, custodian. Tracy Day, Senior High School, head cook. Phyllis Gathers, Central Elementary Reading Center. Lisa McMullen, Crossroads Middle School, seventh grade math. Laura Griffin, District Office Instructional Specialist. Karen Sides, East Elementary, first grade. Susan Emmons, District Office, Confidential Secretary 2. <laughs> Debbie Frymuth, District Office, Instructional Specialist. Greg Thomas, District, Speech and Language Pathologist. <laughs> Susan Buckley, Central Elementary, Fourth Grade ELA. Last but certainly not least, Roger Martin, District <laughs> Office, yeah. Assistant yeah. Superintendent. <laughs> These are our retirees from 2020 21 and 21 22. Let's give them a round of applause. standing if we could have the other board members go down and get a picture with our retirees <laughs> we, we will move forward with our next presentation superintendent smith creekside middle school spotlight yes we are very excited to uh welcome and we may have to wait for mrs francini just a moment oh did she leave well, she's, she's, holding the door. she's maybe out directing traffic. Oh, it's okay. She went to get the kids. So this evening we have a school spotlight on Creekside Middle School, and uh, we're very excited to, to welcome some staff members and also some of our students from Creekside. So at this time, I'll turn it over to our principal, Mrs. Carrie Francini. Good evening, board members and students. Um, this evening, we have our ASL club leaders here. Um, we talk a lot about diversity in Fairfield, and this is, you know, kind of a different way of talking about diversity. Um, every year, we start sixth grade by telling our sixth graders, if you have an idea for a club, come talk to us about it. We'll find a sponsor. And that's exactly what these young ladies did. Um, and I'm just really excited to have them share kind of their journey and some of the activities that they do in their club with you. Hello. Hello, we're the students. 
super signers. We're excited to share our love with you. After a couple of meetings, Ms. Shaheen could no longer be our supervisor. Eli's new su interpreter is currently our supervisor, Ms. Beth. <laughs> so now that we have a club, uh, we need members. So we put up posters around the school and went on the announcements the first day of our meeting. There was a sign-up sheet in the office, welcome to anyone 6th through 8th, and there was a permission slip to turn in, and our first meeting had 15 people. Schedule. We meet every Friday starting at 1.50 p.m. Then we do a book and activity until 2 o'clock while people are still getting there. Next, we present our lesson presentation and then do activities to practice. Lastly, Mary assigns the homework. We do all the planning during our lunch break and Mary is going to show the binder. This is our binder with all of our lessons and our sign-up sheet, which had 21 sign-ups and it has all of our lessons with food and ABCs and numbers and etc. Since I'm in yearbook staff this year, I was in charge of taking photos for the club. So in the middle, we have our supervisor, supervisors, Ms. Shanine and Ms. Beth. On the side, we found a really cool ASL picture. Um, next to that, we have the ASL ABCs, which we will be using for activity this evening. Next to that, we have Alyssa and Veronica te teaching, and under that is me. Here is what our fellow Super Snyder students think of our club. Why did you join the club? I just wanted to learn some language for fun. It seemed really interesting and Spanish was boring. I wanted to join because I feel like really like educational. I feel like learning like a new language. Uh, because I had been previously learning sign language and I wanted to learn more with like 
more resources um, because I have a, I have two autistic little brothers and they don't like sign language and I'm just wanting money for them. I joined because I was already always interested in sign language and I didn't want to wait till high school. I thought that it was really cool and I joined it and now I really like it. I wanted to learn sign language. What's your favorite topic we've learned so far? I like food because I can use it a lot um, around my family. I feel like it was letters because I feel like it was like very like motivational. I liked um, the emotions so you could just like more like express yourself and how much more like interesting and how different the signs were. I like food. I like the food thing because I like food. Food because I'm always hungry. The alphabet. Um, <laughs> fruit because I like fruits. How does ASL help help you? Wait, affect you? How does it affect? You? It doesn't affect me too much, but it's fun to teach my siblings and my parents. And there's this one time I I um, I used it to talk with my friends. Um, always supposed to be quiet. I mostly use it in my house. I just like sign like the food. Or like I could like spell out letters, words. It hasn't really changed much, but it's like definitely helped a lot on the mental state since it's got me to focus on something more and like have an extra activity. Mostly, it hasn't really changed much. I like it. It didn't really affect me that badly, but I like it. I like going to it. It affects me how um, I communicate with my mom. She's not deaf or anything, but she taught me at like a really young age to where before I could talk, I could sign simple sentences like I need food, I'm hungry, or pick me up. Um, it affects me because I really enjoy it and I do it all around my house. <laughs> I can talk to my friend now. I think starting this club was a good idea. Yes, yes. definitely. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's an amazing idea. I just wish more people would have joined. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was an absolute idea. Yeah. What inspired you to want to learn sign language? Yes. I wanted to because I'm not really good at picking up on foreign languages, but I felt really good about like picking up on using my hands to communicate with people, and I do that on a daily basis already when I'm talking. There's um, a blocket that I create every week for us to play, and we have one that you can play too. Don't worry, it's just the alphabet, and it's only a minute long. <laughs> um, just go to blocket.com on your mobile device or like any device that you have. Click Join Game, and the game ID is. The game ID is 653063. 653063. Once again, that is 653063. And if you're joining late, um, it's 6530063.
Showing my answer. <laughs> Scouts, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, that kind of thing. It's part of a badge. So kudos to you for bringing it to the surface and getting more people involved. And I hope you carry this with you through freshman, high school, and all. So great job. Thank you for coming. Can I add something to that? I just, so they'll be in seventh grade next year. These are sixth graders. Um, so they've already talked about what it looks like for incoming members next year. Like, those kids might need a group in the back, to, you know, which we talk about with teachers all the time about differentiating for students with those like learning gaps and the fact that you know our sixth graders understand you know what those kids are going to need and how to help them get you know integrated into the club. I just that was really special. And if I had say, like, I do very little as far as planning goes. Like I'm the adult in the room. <laughs> They'll come to me if they have questions about very specific signs, um, but all of the book it, all of their lessons, the topics, it's all their decision and their planning, and they do all the heavy lifting for the club. They did the video, if they did. you guys ever need help. <laughs> <laughs> and you plan on having a pipeline, so to speak, so when you move on to freshmen, you have another group coming up and just keep re, re, uh, reliving that? These guys will train them. Yeah, good job. <laughs> Very proud of you. I think that's right, Mr. Clark. This is a great pipeline into the high school where you can take this as your language requirement. And I know it's grown leaps and bounds in the high school. My daughter, I'm very proud to say, is a senior this year and is completing her third year of American Sign Language. So it's a great thing. Thank you for starting this in the uh, middle school. Thanks for coming out tonight. Thank you. Thank you. 